Hello! If you are watching this video, it is very likely you are doing the fetal pig paper dissection. And this is sort of your quick introduction tutorial. We'll see how quick it is. So to begin, hey, um, you'll want to make sure that you have at least printed the four sheets of paper, all right, just single sided with the fetal pig on it. Um, if you don't have a color printer, you can always print them in black and white and then color them. There are specific colors to color them so you can identify them later. And so all of those colors are mentioned on the Word document where I've posted the list of all of the structures. This is just a black and white version of that, but I've given you what each number is and what color it should be colored. When it gets to the skin color, you can color it any color. It would be a natural skin color for a pig to be. So tan, black, brown, flesh, speckled, whatever. Um, the other materials you're gonna need are scissors and a glue stick and a piece of construction paper. I didn't even have construction paper. I had a vanilla or manila envelope, so I'm gonna use that which should be fine. It's just what we're gonna stick the pig to. Before I even begin, what I want to do is to take some time identifying each of the organs and its function. I've already provided for you what each number represents and what color it is. You do not have to print this out. You could type on your copy. Um, you could just look it over and read it over. But to find all this information, I'm going to read, and you can print it out or read it digitally, but the section that has the details about the pig. And so it'll um, talk to you a little bit about the introduction and the external anatomy. Down here it says the anterior head end of the pig. You'll find its snout. The snout or nose is the main structure responsible for the pig's sense of smell. Okay, the two... Oh, small holes in the tip of the snout are called the nares, responsible for bringing air into the nasal passageways for gas exchange when the mouth is closed. That already tells me two of these, right? Um, that the this is the sense of smell of my pig, and the nares are my um, openings. that allow air into the respiratory tract. Okay. Um, now, you are not gonna turn this in. So you do not have to write all of this down, but you're gonna be um, determining many of this for your final assessment. Um, the function of these. And there's 111 structures you need to be responsible for knowing. And so this sheet and this reading, which you can do digitally, is what you'll need for that. Okay. So once you've done that, okay, I'm going to go through the steps and the PowerPoint has the steps for you as well. Um, but at the end of that package of reading, page 8, 9, and 10, have your instructions for putting it together. So I would recommend having a computer handy so you can look at those steps as well um, as we go through these. So first step is to cut out your pig. Okay? And so you are going to carefully cut out each of these individual guys. Voila, I have my pieces all cut out. Um, I was careful to not lose anything, so I put them in plastic bags um, to put them to the side of those pieces I'm not using. Um, it's important that you pick what sex of the pig you want to begin with. And so to determine the sex, you'll use these structures here. Okay. If you have a female pig, okay, 
your structures that you're going to pick should be the ovaries and vagina and then it's urogenital opening looks like this um, both openings are closer to that little tab that says R2. If you want to pick a male, okay, you can see the scrotum structure down here closer to R2 and its urogenital opening um, is closer to the top and you would use these for the internal reproductive structures. All right, so I'm gonna go with a female pig. So to begin, right, step number one is you are going to glue the base to your piece of construction paper. And everything we're going to do is going to attach to this. Once I glue it on here, I'm going to keep the, um, it'll be the head eventually up here. Um, and so I'm going to leave a little bit of room for that. And I don't want my tail to get damaged, so I'm going to make sure that that gets glued down well. Okay. Assembly is pretty straightforward, but you need to read your instructions very carefully. So we are going to attach the appendages a one, two, three, and four to each of the leg spots on the base. Now, when you glue these on, the numbers should line up right on top of each other, and you're just going to put glue on the marked tabs, okay? So I'm not gluing the entire foot down, just the back side of this little piece right here. So we can do that for all four. You were gluing this. So each foot should be able to be folded in. I, if this was going in like a science notebook or something, I could crease the foot and fold it in so it would fit nicely um, in my science notebook. All right. <clears throat> Next step is to find the dorsal head. So every one of these is labeled. Right? So this is the head dorsal and I need to find the head internal. Apply glue to the back of one of the pieces and attach, attach them front to back so I can see both the top of the head and the inside of the mouth at the same time. So I'm going to glue them together that way. Okay, then I am going to apply glue to the tab head dorsal one and cover it over the parts of the brain. So imagine if we were dissecting the pig and we cut out a flap to view the brain, 
this is where that would go. So apply some glue just to the tab because I want to be able to fold it over. And then I could crease that so I can see inside the brain. Find the jaw internal and jaw ventral. Apply glue to the back of one of these and glue them front to back. Okay. Okay, apply glue to the tab and attach the epiglottis by tab M to the jaw internal. So right here, and this is a teeny tiny piece that you cut out. Oops, I found it. we go this teeny tiny guy this is the epiglottis to represent it folding over the opening in the back of the throat okay. all right um, I'm on step five now Apply glue to the tab jaw ventral one and attach it over the exposed neck. Okay, right here for jaw ventral. <clears throat> so we're going to cover up these neck structures. You know, this is the little hair on the chinny chin chin of your pig right here. go. So let's say I cut this flap out on the chin of the pig. Now I can see the underside of the mouth. Um, we have some of the muscles, some of the glands. I can see the um, cartilage rings of the trachea there. Now apply glue to jaw internal and attach it to the top of the head internal. And I should be able to open and close the pig's mouth. I'm going to go ahead and crease this before I glue it to make flipping it over easier. Now I have a head, so I can see the top of the head. I can open up the mouth, see inside the mouth. Here's that little epiglottis. Um, flip it over the chinny chin chin, looking at the underside. So now we are ready. I'm on to step seven. Attach the assembled head to um, my pig base. Okay. Now, because this is a little big and depending on how big your paper is, you may want to fold your pig head down eventually. So you may want to crease the entire thing so that you could eventually lay the head flat if you wanted to fold everything up nicely. So I find it easier to crease it before I glue it.
Try to avoid gluing the head on backwards. Hi. <clears throat> so it should say jaw ventral one facing you. You should see the chinny chin chin because the pig is laying on its back, its ventral, its belly side facing you. So you should be able to view everything with the glottis, hold everything. Okay. Make sure it's good and dry though before you attempt that or it might come off. All right, next up is the kidneys. So we're gonna be working our way from the deep parts to the more superficial parts. So um, we have our kidneys and we're gonna attach K to K. And again, we're not gluing the entire thing down, just these little flaps so we can move them out of the way to see other structures underneath. I'm just gonna apply a little bit of glue. Okay, for my kidneys. Now, find your appropriate um, reproductive structures. Okay, so I decided to pick females. Okay, and you're gonna go from R1 to R on this structure here. Now we're going to add our digestive organs by adding O1 to the O on this page up here. Now we are going to take our respiratory organs and attach O2 on top of our tab marked O1. If you remember, the esophagus lies behind our trachea. So we can see the trachea number 77, the esophagus 40 right here. They lay right on top of each other. Okay, I'm moving on to the next page. We're through step 11, now we're on step 12. Apply glue to the tab and attach the liver L to L on the diagram. So that's at the base of the lungs there. So here's my liver. Okay. Now we are gonna apply glue to the heart by taping O3 over O2. Then we're going to add the thymus gland on top of the heart. Your thymus is a gland that sits right on top of your heart. So we have O4 that's going to sit on top of there. Now we're going to locate the rib cage. So Hopefully you cut this out like this. You're going to actually divide the rib cage in half. You can see where T1 is gonna to attach to T and it doesn't quite fit. So it's really important that we cut this so it does.
and glue T1 on top of the base T for the right and left sides. Okay, so we have a rib cage, our thymus, our heart, our lungs, liver, digestive tract, kidneys, reproductive structures. Okay, moving right along. Now we need to identify the thoracic and abdominal muscles. Just like with the rib cage, we're gonna cut along the thick, dark line. And attach T2 on top of T1, where we just glued the rib cage. Now we should be able to open and close the muscles to view the rib cage and those internal organs. Okay, now locate the external skin with the mammary glands. Those are the yellow dots there. We are gonna cut the skin in half as well. And attach the T3 tabs on top of the T2 tabs. Okay, last one, okay? You're going to find your um, correct reproductive structures, all right, depending on what the sex of the pig is, okay? Um, if you were doing the male, you're going to put it on the outer surface of this tab and fold it under. So we put glue here, fold it under and attach it to R1. So you don't see the tab, okay, like that. Same with the female, okay. There's the external flap with what we call the urogenital papilla and the vaginal orifice. We are gonna fold R2 underneath, apply a little bit of glue and attach on top of R1. So this is the one that kind of goes backwards. Like so. And then lastly, attach the umbilical cord. This is a, another teeny, teeny, tiny one, still in the bag. Okay, it's got the skin color and then the red and blue. We're gonna attach U1 on the external flap. It's right here. You can fold it so it kind of sticks up a little bit. Okay. All right, that is assembling your pig. All right, when you are done, you should have two pieces left over. 
of the other sex. So I made a female, so I have the male structures left over. Um, but that should be it to put it together. If you want to store it, you can fold the head down and fold the legs in in order to keep it stored in a nice flat place. Okay? Um, but when you want to view it, you can pull the head up. So the next step for you now is to visit the virtual dissection hey, um, from Whitman College and go through and study what it looks like on a real pig. But while you're doing that, I want you to look at your pig and see if you can identify those structures on here. And it gives you kind of a 2D, um, a 3D structure here for you to identify. One thing I want to point out, if we were dissecting in class, all of the cuts in here are made just like what we would do. So very typical in a pig dissection, we start off with the head and we cut the jaws and we open the mouth nice and wide. And so you get a look at the epiglottis and you can like flip it over on that fetal pig and you can see those openings in the back of the mouth. Um, we would try to skin away some of the skin to view the structures underneath the chin, the ventral view of the jaw. And we would also try to expose a little bit of the brain and cranium through the skull. Um, so that is very similar to what we would really do. And then the cuts here is very similar as well. We'd identify if we had a male or female. We would cut down to the umbilical cord and go around so that we could open up this way. All right. The fetal pig's muscles aren't super developed, so sometimes we cut through the muscle layer, but we can identify some of our muscles here, which I know we didn't learn the names of very many muscles, but I do want you to know these ones. And then we would view the rib cage, okay, and our parts of the sternum right here, and be able to look for and identify our thymus the heart, the different chambers of the heart, our lungs, the trachea, the liver, our gallbladder, all of our organs of the digestive tract. Okay. We have our kidneys, blood vessels, okay, and our reproductive structures, even so much as being able to see the vertebrae in the back of the body, our cervical, thoracic, and lumbar vertebrae are all there, okay, as well as the pelvis. So. Um, hopefully this gives you something that you can use to study from. Um, your final assessment is to answer the questions about this structures as well as the online virtual dissection. And don't forget to post your picture with your pig. All right. Thank you guys.